Good morning, guys. Leslie at Inski Bakers. Oh, it is a bit chilly this morning. It's about 50 degrees. It's warmed up a little bit since I got up. Um, I moved the little girls. Well, I can't really say that I moved them. They still have the space they were in, but their fence goes all the way around the dirt pile and back. So one piece of fence is not big enough to go all the way around and it ends somewhere over there. If I brought the second one over to here, I would have to then kind of double it back on itself and it doesn't electrify as well. So I just gave them their current space and the new space. That is my leg, kitty. I'm gonna climb up my leg. So they have actually already done pretty decently. They're finishing what I opened up a little more that was behind their fence over here. And spent most of the day yesterday out around the dirt pile. Um, it was super windy yesterday, so all kinds of stuff is blown all over. I see, oh, it's hard to see him on the camera. Somewhere out here is Fred and Faye is laying down, and there's pigs right out there, or at least a pig. So I came out early this morning just to check on Eldred, who still has not had piglets. Good morning, Nainers. And apparently she didn't like my birthing suite. She let herself out. <laughs> so, um, and I do have ghost is in here with jelly bean um, I had family come this weekend and pick out a couple of doughs and they would like them bread before they leave so that was jelly bean and maple oh where's she at right over there maple is with obi so once they're bread they will come back and get them these guys are having breakfast. Looks like I need to put on my calendar. Biscotti is in heat. I'm still de can't decide if I'm gonna breed her this year or just sell her. I don't know. I don't. I probably just need to sell her. I don't need all of the extras. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to breed and keep the babies and sell her once she freshens. I don't know. So who is out there? So looks like Freya is quite hard to see, but by the round bale. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but she just bent this mesh out and walked right out the side. Um, this is the gate that the whole bottom rail had rusted off, so it really doesn't surprise me at all. I may have to stick up another piece of panel in there and put the T-post back in. But we put we a partial round bale from them bailing the neighbors and the next property down the road. So we put that in for the cows and the pigs. Hi boys. And here comes Thor. So that is Eldred. Let's see her. Um, right out there. Enjoying the hayfield. Apparently she was not ready to pop yet, but I can see her milk line from here. And she looks like she's ready. Um, I had said Thursday was 114 days. Good morning, sir. From when we had seen them breeding, but 
they can go like 110 to 120 days, so. She is coming up on 120 days here pretty soon. What is today? 14th, all right, so it's 14th. So, yeah, 14th, 10th was 114. She's like 118 days. And since she broke out, I know exactly when she was bred. Oh, I guess. All right, I'm gonna find my cart. I have escaped turkeys. They're ready for breakfast. Uh, find my cart, give everybody their grain. Let's see what else we can do today. Everybody's happy with their breakfast. We'll see if my change is here. Keep the mama pig happy or not. Just trying to find every little piece of grain from her breakfast. I did throw a bunch of hay in here. It's fresh cut, so it's not obviously fresh grass, but hopefully it makes her happy. Look at that belly. What do you think, Eldred? giving the rest of the goats their grain and I think I'm gonna go can some stuff today since there's not much to do outside I've got a few more things I can work on in the house we'll keep coming out and checking on Eldred today all right I've got some stuff in the canner so I can't stay out here long but I looked out the back door and watched Eldred walking out to the hayfield. So, my cattle panel fix didn't work. And when I had come out here, she had pretty much completely mangled this gate. It was holding on by the top hinge this was all bent out, and when she saw that I was up here, she came running back up and wanted back in. So, current situation, she was laying here and I was rubbing her belly, and apparently she got up and Thor and Freya are now in her shelter. And... I put the round bale feeder in front of there enough so the cows stay out, the pigs can get in, and I guess we're going to have to go buy a new gate tonight when Jason gets off work. Hopefully they have what we're looking for in stock. Yeah. It's either that or we're going to have to put a actual cattle panel across here and put more T-posts and completely staple it and fasten it into place. I think she probably just didn't like being up here by herself, but it is what it is. If I have to, we'll lock Thor out, let her have her sister up here, and then I don't know. Thor hasn't been around the newborn piglets, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. Oh, it's, I don't know, sometime just after 5 o'clock. This pig has been a handful today. After 
mangling the gate the second time. I just kind of let her be. And she just kept going out, making a lap around the hay field, coming back, going out, making a lap around the hay field, and coming back. And she probably did that, well, I don't know, at least 10 times. Once Jason got home, I was watching her all the way out in the back corner. And she was out there making a nest, rooting up everything. Still no babies, huh? So she has plenty of nest building stuff. She has a hopefully anti-escape fence now. <laughs> ah. And she still has a big old belly. And a full milk line, huh? Alright. It is about 8.30. Probably my last pig check for the night. She always has piglets without me and has never had an issue. Yeah. You guys see how you can see, see Stu. She's hanging out on the shoulders halfway in my hood. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Pretty sure she's just sleeping. She's breathing. She might be having some contractions. Pig pig? Huh? You gonna have some babies? I can't even see you under there. There she is. Flashlight in your eye, huh? Flashlight in your eye. Sorry, that was bright. Let me cover you back up. Yeah, it's pretty toasty in here. Oh. What is that? You want belly scratches? Okay. Oh, I can't hold the flashlight and the camera in one hand. It's hard. Oh, belly scratches. Oh, it's warm. Toasty warm. Huh. Definitely full of milk. I mean, this is her milk line from here. It goes all the way around to the bottom, the other side. Huh. Really, kitty? What are you doing? out and check on her one more time. Oh, Eldred. 
I think I'm gonna have to come one more time and check on you later. Get out of here, kitty. All right, back in the house. All right, guys, it's just after 11 o'clock. It's about bedtime. So I am going to check Eldred one more time. Ooh. It's about, oh, it was like 45 degrees. Oh. I don't do cold well. And it's getting there. Still don't think we have any piglets. I think she's just chilling out. What you thinking, Mama? Huh? You under there? <laughs> I can't see your face. Hi. No piglets. Oh, rolling over more for belly scratches. If you guys can see it, there's like some steam coming. Alright guys, it's almost midnight. Eldred's always had her piglets in the late at night or early in the morning without me. So I am going to go ahead and head inside. Well, that's it guys. Have a good day. See ya on the next one.